Iga Shriontek versus Elena Rabakina was the final of the Qatar Open for 2024. And both have had different roads to get to this stage. Rabakina started the tournament as the number three seed and would get a bye in the first round. In the second round, she'd take on Zhu, but there was no problem getting through in straights. 6-2, 6-1. In the third round, she'd take on Navarro, the 16th seed. And after dropping the second set, Rabakina would have to fight back to win. 6-1, 6-7, 6-4. In the quarterfinal, she'd take on Leila Fernandez, who had taken out Samsonova and Zhang along the way. And after a tough first set, Rabakina would win in straights, 6-4, 6-2, to advance to the semifinals. In the semifinals, Rabakina would take on the unseeded Pavlia Chenkova, who had taken out Collins in the previous round. This was too easy for Rabakina, getting through in straights, 6-2, 6-4, to advance to the final. Fiontek entered the tournament as the number one seed and would get a bye in the first round. In the second round, she'd take on Kostea. This was no problem, getting through in straights, 6-1, 6-1. Third round, she'd take on the 14th seed, Alexandrova. And again, no problem for Fiontek, getting through in straights, 6-1, 6-4. In the quarterfinals, she'd take on Azarenka, who had just beaten Oster Penko for the third time this year, which meant Shviontek wouldn't have to play her boogie woman. And this was a relief to Shviontek, who would get through in straights, 6-4-6 love, to advance to the semifinals. In the semifinals, Shviontek was supposed to play Pliskova, who had taken out Osaka in the previous round. But unfortunately, Pliskova would be injured in her previous match, unable to compete, giving Shviontek a walkover to the final. These two have played four times before, with Rabakina leading the head-to-head 3-1, including winning three matches last year against Shviontek, with two of those matches on hard courts and straight sets win, so Fiontech's really got to get it together if she's going to finally get over Rabakina in one of these matches. If Rabakina's going to win this one, she needs to serve massive and move Fiontech around. She also has the psychological advantage having beaten Fiontech the last three times, and also beaten her twice easily on hard courts, so she knows she can overpower Fiontech but also get into Shviontek's head as well. If Shviontek's going to win this one, she needs to serve well. It's something that she's been working on this year and trying to, you know, compete against these big returners like Rabakina by using the serve with a little bit more pace. So let's see how that works against Rabakina here. And also needs to move Rabakina around and mix it up a little bit. Maybe come to the net and try some volleys. What a great matchup. A top four clash in the first couple of months of the season and a rematch we haven't seen since Rome. We always think that Rabakina's going to win this one. I think she is. She's in such good form right now. I've got to go Rabakina in three. It's so hard to see Shviontek being able to overpower uh, Rabakina or even just compete with Rabakina's power at this stage. So I'm going to go with a player that's been winning, but let me know in the comments below who you think is going to win this one.